Hi folks, thanks for joining me for this week's river tutorial. So, uh, on Tuesday I gave you a very, very simple fishing fly. This week, there's a little bit more to this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in the vise is a Hanak H330 barbless hook. This one's at size 10. As you can see, it's a bronze hook and it's on a medium wire. The thread I'm going to be using initially is the UTC wax thread at 140 denier and as you can see it's tan. So I'm just going to get a little bit of wax onto the very end of my thread. Help me get some purchase and then I can dress up my thread, catch it just in behind the eye and then run a thread wrap all the way down to the bottom of your fly pattern which is right round the bend in this case then I can remove my waist end like so and what I'm going to do next is catch in one of these now what I've got here is a Gaga Magic Quill this is the medium size and basically it's a synthetic quill one side is adhesive and the other side's a little bit shiny. So what I want to do is have the adhesive side down onto the fly. Just gonna remove the very tip and catch that in. Now I'm going to run my thread back down over that quill and the reason for that is I don't want it to to show through the thread really then I can come up and just do the same doing it in little sections and there's a reason for that which I'll come on to in a sec I'm trying to create a taper here. So I've got up as far as I'd like with this at the moment and what I'm going to do next is come in with some of this. It's, it's a very thin red tinsel but it's quite a subdued colour. don't know how well you can see that there, it's probably the lights are shining on it just a little bit but when you actually see this in your hand it's quite a subdued red, it's not a holographic in your face red it's really nice stuff i like i really like it for uh, bugs as well putting hot spots into bugs so i'm going to catch that on approximately there and then i'm going to start to increase my wraps up the body to create that taper that i want to get going on this fly Bear with me. I keep meaning to, when I'm doing this sort of building tapers, think of a joke to tell you, but all the jokes I know are filthy, so uh, there's no jokes, sorry. Right, so I've built that little taper there, and what I'm going to do next is bring the red and overlapping turns. up the body. Just make sure you get it good coverage. It's very thin this. So I'm just making sure I get all that upper part covered in the red. If you miss a tiny little bit I wouldn't lose any sleep over it cover as much as you can. So that's me just about happy with that. Then I can remove my waist. Then with your synthetic quill you want to come around making sure the black adhesive part 
is going down onto the body of the fly. And it gives a great effect this. I mean, some people prefer to use a uh, strip peacock herald and I can't blame them, it's a great material. It gives a really natural effect. But uh, these magic quills are certainly have their place, certainly in my fly tying kit. Now as I come up over the red, you'll see that the quill, the magic quill, absolutely makes that red pop. All the way up to the thorax area and you can capture that in with a couple of wraps. Get a couple of wraps in front, then remove your excess quill. Okay, next then we're going to go over the top of that with some UV resin. If you don't have any UV resin, I'm sure you can use varnish, but you just need to then put it to the side and wait for it to dry. The beauty of using the resin is you can pretty much keep working. It doesn't need to be a, a thick coat. It just gives it that little sheen on it which can be really pleasing to the eye and hopefully pleasing to the trout's eye. Just cure that off. And I make sure it's completely dry. There we go. That should do the job. Next then, I'm going to cast off my tan thread with a whip finish. And I can take that away. Okay, so we've, we've created our body for this fly. Just check that is dry. And next, I'm going to come in with some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is at 12O, and as you can see, it's black. We'll catch that in just behind the eye. And then get a few thread wraps down. I can remove my waist there. And what I want to do next is just add the slightest bit of wax to my thread. Just about an inch. Okay, so the wing. I'm using some uh, Hanak CDC feathers. These have been dyed black and I've already taken uh, about four plumes for this pattern out of the box and I've married up the tips as you can see here. And what I'm going to do is get them the right way around in my left hand, dress it up, and you want it to be approximately two centimeters past the eye of the hook. So I've got that in place. I'm going to get a few wraps down, tighten up on that. Make sure you've left a little bit of space at the front here above the eye. Then come in with your scissors, cut at a slight angle, and then again I'm going to add another little bit of wax to my thread and I'm going to cover up the tag end like so. Now, fairly content with that, and what you've got to make sure at this point is you've got about a quarter of an inch between your CDC and the end here. Next, I'm going to bring in the hackle, and I'm using a, a dyed black grizzle here. It's a lovely hackle, this, and I've already pre-prepared the feather, and what do I mean by that? So basically... I've selected a feather, I've stripped off one side of the uh, stock which, and it leaves me with 
the other side. I've left a small, no, that's too small. I've, I've added, uh, just taken another few fibres away there and left myself a little stock to tie in. So I'm going to come over, lock that into place. Bring my thread up to where the CDC is. Next then, before I start wrapping, I'm going to break the stock, not break it off completely, but break it so that it starts to bend in the direction I want. Then what I can do is carefully get in touch and turns with the hackle. I want it really dense in here because this is going to help the fly stay afloat. All the way up to the end. Then once you're happy, make sure you trap it in with your thread. Lift everything back, thumb and forefinger to the left hand, pull it all back, bring your thread to the front. Once you've got the thread to the front, you can get your snips and simply take away your excess hackle. Now to finish off, I'm going to grab the tiniest amount of black seals fur. Just a few fibres and catch them in onto my thread. You can see it's literally about two centimetres worth. Pull everything back again. And that just helps cock the hackle up to the direction you want it. Then you can come in with your whip finish tool. And finish the fly. Remove your thread. And the job's a good one. So a couple of interesting techniques there. Uh, you can use any colour combination you wish. Uh, I think the tan and red goes really well and it really complements the magic quill. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you got something out of that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about clicking the button and I'll see you all next time.